everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Sai from Sai Photography and today we're gonna go over lighting <laughs> Possibly if the lighting doesn't come out right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting with one light and we're going to be positioning it in four different types of ways. And I'm going to show you how we create a very nice dramatic effect with photos. We're going to do a really nice red on red photo shoot. Wait until you see. I have Ashley from Beauty by Ashley Delgado who did this beautiful with red tones makeup and red hat, red dress, red backdrop. It's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait for you to see. So let me show you how the whole thing is gonna go down. All right, so we are here at the Knowlton Galleries and I'm going to be using the Glow Soft Box. It's about 36 inches in diameter. And um, we just have like the regular, I mean, it's, you know, beautiful beauty, beauty dish. It's actually lit. Um, and then we're gonna be using this the grid the honeycomb grid do you know what it's used for uh, i just learned um and i'm just learning this so I, as i learn i'm just going to be sharing this information with you because it is a game changer in photography um so let's get started all right so you're not going to believe this but it is 10 o'clock at night Ashley is a mom and I am a grandma and we need to get away from all the little children in our home. So we wait until they fall asleep and we leave them with the men of the house and we come into the studio to do fun things like this. So I am here. We have our, our beauty dish, not beauty dish, the soft box. Let me move this over so you can see. Um, the soft box is set at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna show you usually what I like to do is I like to take the soft box and position it where the opening is so if her hat is tilted to one side I'm gonna move it over and put it on the other side if it's tilted on this side I'm just gonna move it over so it's either you know it's a 45 degree angle at a 45 degree tilt on preferably on the most open space that she has. So if she divides her hairline here, I'm gonna put it over on this side so that way I don't get the harsh shadows of her hair. If it's her, if her hair is divided on this side, obviously I'm gonna put it on this side. So that's gonna be the first one that we're gonna show you and I'm gonna take a few photos here. Um, I'm actually gonna switch out my lens. I'm gonna use a 50 millimeter lens. I am shooting on the Canon 5D Mark III and I will show you what those photos look like. All right, so we are shooting with the flash point system. Um, I have my trigger handy. I have the 50 millimeter lens on here and we're gonna take a few shots of Ashley because the hat is um, slightly opened towards the left, right? Left, 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 left side of her face. Right. <laughs> um, right. Well, it's the right side, my left. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's her right side, my left. Um, I am gonna position the light on my left side, her right. Um, it's going to kind of fall within the opening of the hat so that way we get the shadows not on the side that we really want to be revealed in the photos. So again, 45 degree angle, 45 degree tilt. Um, she's seated. I asked her to kind of form a V formation with her hand. So putting one hand either on her hat or on her hair and the other one kind of like positioning it delicately. So using two fingers to just kind of like play with, you know, the inside of her, her dress like the corner or the edge of her dress is just kind of forming like a V. Um, it's, it's just more appealing to the eye. So let's take a few shots and see how that comes out. I forgot to put a memory card inside the camera. <laughs> memory card inside the memory and then slap the camera so we're, we're gonna take the photos for real this time so we're back to doing this 
with just the soft box at a 45 degree angle. Let's do this again. All right, ready? And oh, it's perfect. And it's, it's really, really, really beautiful. And now I'm gonna put the honeycomb and we're gonna concentrate the light a little bit more. The honeycomb, because I have control issues. Right on. So it's just a Velcro and we're gonna put it right over the soft box. There's people in the other studio fooling around. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna keep it at the same 45 degree angle because I really want you to see the difference of what the honeycomb grid does. I call it a honeycomb. What the grid does to this particular photo. So all the settings are exactly the same. On each of the photographs that I'll be showing, kind of mixing into the video, you're gonna see the settings that I used for each one of the photographs. So now we have it set up on the side of her and of course I don't want the, the light to just shine on one half of her face and then there'd be like total shadow on the other side of the face. So what I want to do is I want to direct my model into the light. So again, we're in the studio, it's, in a, it's a pretty small space. So mastering lighting is something that every photographer has to learn um, if you're working in a studio space and making it work for you. So I'm gonna give Ashley a different position. I'm gonna give her something a little bit more whimsical, maybe doing something like this, but her face directed towards the light so that way I can get a nice glow on her face. Settings exactly the same. All we did was we moved the light over to the side of her. That's all we did, all right? So Ashley, you're gonna look into it. Um, I'm gonna look more in this direction over here. <laughs> but your body is gonna be tilted towards, towards the, light. the light. Yeah, and so I just want you to kind of like bring your chin up because I really want the light to hit you, but I want it to fill in this light because it's so on the side of you and it's so above you, it's really gonna cast a lot of shadows on this side. So let's see how this comes out. So let's do something with our hands. Let's do something where we're kind of like with our hat, with our hair. It's so much better when you're <laughs> There you go. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cool? Just the positioning of one light. Just one light in the studio makes all the difference. So let's take a few more. Actually, let's make, give me give me totally looking into the light. Just kind of like tilt your head over to one corner. Bring your body completely over. Let's play with these scarves over here in the back. Like take these and just kind of hold them in your hand. Or bring your, bring one hand and just kind of like put it on the top of your hat. Okay, without holding Yeah, without the scarf. holding the scarf. Just hold one sleeve and yeah. Perfect. Oh, I like that. Let's see. We're going to go to our next lighting setup. And what we're going to do is what I just, I just learned this. So I'm going to try it. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but it's called the clam effect and with that we're going to take our one light we're going to put it directly above her we're going to have it tilted down shining the light this way but what we're going to do is we're going to put a reflector in her hands where she's going to hold the reflector put her chin up and what the reflector is going to do is it's going to bounce the light from the light up above her it's going to bounce and it's going to fill in all the harsh shadows so we'll take a picture without the, the reflector first so you can see how that looks, the shadows underneath, and then we'll put the reflector right underneath her and you'll see how that works out. So I have this um, cute little reflector that we're gonna be using as a, I, they, they come in all different sizes. And so this, yeah. this is it. <laughs> I really did smack me in the face. All right, so we have the silver side and then we'll have the gold side. I don't think I'm gonna use the gold side because it kind of, or maybe I will, I don't know. Let's see how it, it bounces. We'll just play with all of it. So we'll take a photo on one with just the light right above her, um, showing the shadows underneath, and then one using the reflector with her chin up, and you'll see that the light bounces off of the reflector, filling up all the shadows underneath, and let's see how that turns out. We're just talking about faces right now. Go ahead, let me see. 
because we the, the light is above her so we don't want the shadow of that so we had to kind of like pick it up so we're kind of experimenting with faces to see what she's going to do for this next one so we're going to tilt that hat up yeah let me let me see some lips oh that's cute okay so let's see how so this is without the reflector underneath her Beautiful. I just love it. Like it, it just creates like a, like a vignette. But we took that one photo where Ashley is looking up. The light is directly above her. And the reason why her chin is up is because if I put her face down, then what's gonna happen is she's gonna get a shadow underneath her nose, shadow underneath her lips, shadow underneath her eyes. That's usually like if someone's wearing like long eyelashes, you get like that spider effect underneath over here. You don't want that. All right. So here, now I'm gonna hold the reflector. And you're gonna hold that same. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's put your eyes down um, so that way I can kind of capture the eye makeup because that's pretty hot. That's actually really nice. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how. That's nice. So the reflector actually filled up the light underneath her neck and you'll see the difference between the photos. So I'm gonna take the reflector away from her and have her hold that same pose so that way the photos are identical because the other one she was kind of holding her hat. So we're gonna do this again with other reflectors so that way you can see the difference and hold that same pose up. And you'll be able to see the shadow underneath her neck I don't know which one I like more. It's all a matter of preference. Um, but contrast really does make a photo like really pop. You really get a dramatic effect. We'll do it one more time, but we'll do it with the gold. So that way we can see how the gold bounces back. Maybe it'll offer something different. Let's see, I'll do that one more time. So it's more of a, a golden ambiance that's kind of shining right up above. I'm not sure if that's my preference. Um, maybe I'll see in post, I'll be like, wow, I really like that. I'll just kind of bounce back and forth in Lightroom to see which one I like more. And then um, I'll go from there. But I definitely am gonna show you all the side-by-side -side compare. So many other options that we can do, but right now I just wanna focus on capturing Ashley's beauty uh, trademark, which is her face and those beautiful lips with our red and red photo shoot and I will be sharing all of that with you. Thanks for watching. Just so that way you know, because I almost forgot, we are going to be doing a whole series on lighting. All the little things that I have learned about lighting equipment, flashes, um, mono lights, all those little cute things that make photography just pop. We're going to be using all of it in our next coming series. So stay tuned because I am going to be bringing another model onto the set where we're going to be introducing lights 
um, in different positions. So this one was just using one light going all the way around, but the next one, we're gonna do one light, then introduce two, then introduce three, introduce four lights, and show you how it changes and really makes a photograph very dramatic. So stay tuned and be sure that you're following. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and please share. Also, don't forget to check out the playlist. Some good content in there.